Hey guys, in last week's video we did an overview of our new Fluval uh, water test kit line. We promised you that we would do a how-to type video, give you some important tips on using a test. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Now we have unboxed uh, already kind of a pH or a low range pH test kit over here. We'll go through the contents. You can see that all of our test kits come with a kind of a lab base. In this case, there's one reagent and some of the other tests, for example, some of the ones that we have over on the side have multiple reagents. There is a test vial. Filling it up to the line gives you 5 mLs. And of course, very importantly, the cover for the test vial. And of course, a pipette, which will allow you to very neatly fill up your test vial uh, in one smooth motion. And then last but not least, the test kit booklet, which you're gonna find right here inserted into the cover uh, with important information and uh, in some cases your color comparison chart. Looking at our uh, low range pH test kit, we're gonna take you through a test just to point out some of the important things you wanna be doing. Now, it's always a good idea to start by taking out your booklet and reading the instructions first. Don't skip that step. Give it a quick once over. Make sure that you uh, familiarize yourself with how many drops you're putting in at which reagents and what period of time you gotta wait for your test results. So this is a really simple one. Great for this example. Uh, pH, so in this case, we're gonna be filling up the uh, vial, our test vial over here with 5 mLs of water. We're going to use this or take that from our aquarium back here. So let's grab it from this tank over here where the tetras are. We're going to fill it up to this line right here. We want to put in 5 mL. So there you go. One pipette that was pretty much full right up to the 5 mL mark. We're ready to go with the test. We just insert that into the base over here. Hold it steady. Shake the reagent really well. That's always the case and some reagents have to be. It's an extremely important, important step in the case of pH. A couple of shakes is usually sufficient. Now in this case we're going to be putting in two drops according to the instructions. So here you go. One, two. Perfect. Then we're going to put the cover on the vial. Give it a quick shake. And then when we're reading the result, what's really important is that uh, you're going to put it up against this kind of vial shaped white, and white area over here. So you're going to put the vial up against there like that and then match it up to the color beside. So in this case, I'm going to be looking at the result here. Now, uh, we're just turning around for the purposes of the camera. It's not really the way I would do it. But in this case, you can see the, the pH is somewhere between seven and 7.2, which, uh, which is a regular type of result to see. It may not match up exactly with either one, but you can see that this color falls between these two. So seven to 7.2. Now, the way you would do it when you're when you're actually doing it yourself is taking the vial and then you would be looking at it with a natural day, daylight source coming in over your shoulder. You want a natural source. Here in the studio, uh, it's all artificial lighting. There are no windows here. It's really best to do the test during the day. Natural daylight source coming in over the shoulder and then you're looking at the result like that. You're going to get a much more accurate color rendition or picture of the actual color that you're reading. So once you've taken your test result, in this case we know it's about 7 to 7.2 basically discard the vial, discard the contents of the vial, rinse it out with uh, fresh tap water, put your test kit away and you're done. Now when it, in the case of pH, it's an immediate comparison. Some of our other test kits, you gotta wait a much longer period of time. For example, ammonia, you have to wait uh, pretty much 20 minutes to get the actual final result. So there you have it guys, an ABC actual how to use a test kit. Pay attention to how you line it up on the comparison chart the period of time you're waiting, look at that instruction booklet, follow the instructions and everything will go well.